just put the one down there in case anyone sneaks in behind me. I've got gold. What's in here? This looks like a good place to hide an heirloom. Um. I wonder if that's it. I'm going to look around. I'm going to look around a bit more. It doesn't seem like anyone's in here, but there have there has been somebody in here recently, given the lit candles. And try and keep it down. Um. I wonder if it I, it doesn't look like anything in here is an heirloom, unless that maces it. Well, well. If it isn't another adventurer. Come to return the heirloom back to its rightful owner. Well, I'm afraid the heirloom isn't real. You're a damned fool. Though I can't say you're the first. Looks like you've just wandered into something well over your head. Now tell me, are you gonna sink or swim? Um, who are you, exactly? I'm someone that isn't afraid to kill people that ask tedious questions. Now listen. I have a dagger on my hip. It's laced with a deadly homebrew Dunmer concoction. Luminos Rusla, Violet Coprinus, and a little bit of ground Anamantium ore. All you need to know is that once this poison gets into your veins, well, I wouldn't be investing in any of your business ventures. So I suggest you cooperate with me. Will do. Um, how did you sneak up on me like that? I did place a rune by your door. A combination of stealth training, experience, and not being a clumsy oaf. That, and I kept a few invisibility potions in my satchel as a fallback. Now, I think it's time we got down to business. Alright. What do you want from me? Nothing too hard. Child's play. Good thing for you, eh? I have a package here that needs delivering to a certain dummy lady in Bruma. Quite the damsel, that one. No, and don't ask what's inside. None of your business. You mean the woman that sent me here? Well, if you're going to put it so bluntly, I'm afraid you've disappointed me. I was hoping we could keep the foreplay going a little longer. Yes, I mean Ella Moonethry. She's an associate of mine, stone-hearted bitch. Suits me perfectly. Give her the goods, and you'll never hear from me again. Betray me, and our fledgling love will be short but sweet. Not even any love letters. How's that for bittersweet romance, eh? I'll let you work out the right choice. Oh, don't talk to me of bittersweet romance, sir. You're not my type, first of all. I believe you've got a task to complete. Off you go. Or would you rather I end you right here and now? Well, your first mistake was not having the dagger pointed at my neck when you had a chance. Damn Dunmer. I have nothing against most Dunmer. Now that... That feels... Like something that needs to get turned in. I'll have to remember that when I get back to Bruma and it's... getting late. Of course. Ooh, I don't like being snuck up on. Least of all by people threatening me. Foreplay. Some foreplay that was. Right. If I ever see a Lamunethri again, I'm going to slit her throat. That's not true. That's, um, that's a bit much. But I do need to find a place to set up camp before the cold gets to me. Oh, great. Really? Go ahead. Come on. Right. Where's your friend? Did I kill him? I think I must have. Not even any love letters. <laughs> if only he knew. 
Now, if I see Alamu Nethri again, I'm probably going to turn her in, to be honest. If I ever see him again, I'm going to slit his throat. First, I'm going to cast a fire rune on him, and then I'm going to slit his throat. I wonder who's down here. There's... I think there's tents. Did I see tents, or did I see... Just rocks. Oh, there are people. Hello? Hello? You're not bandits, are you? Oh, there, traveler. Who are you? Are you with the Thalmor? Tell me. Now! No, I'm not with the Thalmor. My name is Ardinius Welk, actually. I kind of hate the Thalmor. Then I suppose I can afford to stow my weapon. Hmm. <laughs> I hope for your sake you're not lying. Besides, we've nothing to be ashamed of. Go on then. Ask whatever you like. Come and go as you please. But we'll be watching you. I suspect you will. You, you don't mind if I set up camp here, around your fire, would you? It's been a long day. Strength and numbers and all that. Hello? I'm Crucius Rodlin, sworn to Talos. Oh, tell me about yourself. I'd prefer not to say too much. Gotta walk on eggshells nowadays. That said, I used to live in Bruma. Narrowly evaded abduction. Heard Armion and his agents whispering outside my window. Ira and I, we escaped in the night through the Bruma caverns. Bartram let us use his house as a quick escape route. Good thing the guard captain didn't know about the trap door in Bartram's house, or I'm sure Armion would have too. Those were dark days. Dark days. Having to worship Tiber Septim in secret? <laughs> Those old merry dogs will get what's coming to them eventually. Yes, I hope so. Do not forsake the god of man. I won't. I'm not very devout myself to any god, but... I have nothing against Talos. We are a simple folk up here, but the wines forbid you cross us. Ah, uh, I wouldn't. Um, what what's your role here? You the bodyguard? I am the muscle. By looking intimidating, I scare away bandits. Those that have the brains their mother gave them, at any rate. And if any bandits, or wildlife, or... Thalmor decide to try their luck. I sent them swiftly onto RK. Good on ya. If you sell us out to the Thalmor, I'll paint the Cheraz with your insights. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Don't worry, you have nothing to fear from me. If it turns out you are with the Thalmor, I'll run you through myself. What, do I smell like them or something? No, I'm not with the Thalmor. Gods help me. Well, that was interesting. Well, this is as good a spot to set up camp as any, I'd say. Not too close. There's not a lot of... It's not a lot of even ground here. But I'll make sure to put my camp in my tent somewhere that isn't necessarily in sight of the road. Not that many people seem to come up this road. Well, if anyone decides to um, stop by this camp that means them harm tonight, then they'll have two of us to deal with, won't they? Me and that Nordic fellow. Ah, uh, well, this is not the best place, is it? Right, okay, um, hmm. Could try down here, no. I really don't want to sleep on an incline. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can get above the camp, shall we? <sighs> yep, me too, lady. Me too. Alright, this looks like a half-decent spot. Let's try this. Well, that's not great, but 
I could wedge this in between the rock and the tree, that might work. Maybe? That looks better. That shrub in the way is going to be interesting to deal with, but whatever. It's good enough. Good enough for one night. I'm gonna be leaving in the morning anyway, it's not like I'm setting up a permanent base. Right. Armin needs to get... I don't know. A, a stern talking to! If nothing else. Armin is a... He's a piece of work. An arrogant piece of work. Arrogant and condescending. Like most, Thalmor. Do I have anything on me that's actually edible? Might as well take care of that pheasant roast. Alright. Good enough. I need to sleep. Not the warmest camp ever, but it'll do. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that was on an incline. Alright, whatever. Good morning. Good morning. Arcade breath, it's cold this morning. <laughs> Oh, I'm not used to this. Oh well. Long road back to Bruma. But hopefully I don't get um, waylaid by as many wolves this time. Hopefully. <laughs> right. What? Next question, where's the road? Let's um, grab some soup, shall we? And then try to find the road. Um, the proper road. I don't think that's the right way, actually. Alright, back to Bruma. May end up having to go the long way around. Again. By the time I actually get to Skyrim, I will probably um, know all the shortcuts. Around here, anyway. And then I'll have to relearn completely new territory. Lovely. Lovely. That's alright. Well, I'm grumpy this morning, aren't I? Oh! Alright, come here. Oh, great. He's going after them, isn't he? Where is he? Alright. There he is. Okay, I should not run first thing in the morning. I really shouldn't. Alright, come on. You gonna... Alright. You stay. I guess if they go tangle with the um, with the Talos devotees, they will have that Nordic man to deal with. And one of them had a mace, didn't they? What was her name? Arena? Arena? Array? Arena? Oh, I'm so bad with names. Oblivion. Well, at least it's not as foggy today. I much prefer the dry cold to the wet cold. Ugh. Right, okay. Well, there's Bruma in the distance there. Alright, well, I guess we'll just have to hike down this way then. It looks like it might be faster. I guess we'll find out. Whew, alright.
Okay. Yeah, this air is doing nothing for me. Oh boy. Oh, oblivion. I am not as young as I used to be. I remember tramping all over Cyrodiil and... You know, into ruins, all that kind of thing. I don't know if it's the altitude of my or my age, honestly. But oh, ah, there we go. At least I still have some. Oh, at least I've still got some left in my knees. Right. A lot of people think I'm actually younger than I am. I don't know if it's the voice or if it's just, you know, my face. Not actually that young. Maybe it's the tattoos. It's usually the tattoos. Oh, there we go. It's night starting to warm up. Starting to warm up a bit. My lips are frozen. 